So we're bringing some fish into our aquaponics system today. And we brought them over from the farm in this plastic tote with a snappable lid, very important because when you transport fish, you've got water. Water has a lot of weight and it tends to move back and forth in your car. So I like to tie off the bag inside that tote. We also want to make sure that we keep aeration on our fish at all times. So I brought the aerator. I have an airline and air stone that goes right into the bag. If you were to get fish transported through, say, the postal service, those fish have been put on a certain amount of oxygen before they left the vendor. And so you want to get those fish acclimated as soon as possible. So let's talk about how to do that. Step one, open the bag and check the contents. I know how many fish I put in here, but if you're getting fish from a vendor, you wanna take a video or a photo with your phone so that you get a quick shot and you can do a quick count of how many fish the vendor sent you, as well as if any fish have died. Get your fish on air, especially if they came in from a vendor as soon as possible. So add an air stone once you open that bag, otherwise all the air will go out. Step three, you're going to check the temperature and pH of the fish water. So I have a Blue Lab pen that does exactly that. And I'm gonna test the water of the transport. In this case, I have 73 degrees and 7.0 is the pH. And now I'm gonna test the water it's going into. And this system is pretty close. It's about one degree off, which is tolerable for the fish and it's, the pH is a little bit uh, low, so I'm going to make an adjustment by simply taking water from the system and pouring it into the transport vessel. This will help the fish start to acclimate with pH and temperature. And you may have to do that two or three times. If it's a major adjustment and you don't already have fish in the vessel that you're putting them in, you may decide to make a pH adjustment either up or down uh, or a temperature adjustment into the system you're putting them into, a quarantine tank or another fish tank. So we'll wait about 30 minutes, and when we get back, uh, we'll check the pH and temperature again. If it's close, within that 0.2 to 0.4 pH, and within 1 to 2, maybe 3 degrees off, we can then transport or put these fish from the transport vessel into the tank. All right, so we've got our pH and our temperature stable between the transport vessel and the system we're moving these fish into. Now we're going to get ready to actually move them. So I've got a smaller net because I'm moving smaller fish, and I'm very, very gently going to catch these fish in the vessel. They've already been kind of shocked through that transport, so we want to be as gentle as possible moving them into their new space. Once you get all the fish moved, you want to get rid of this transport water. There could be salts or medications in it, so we don't want to ever add this to our system. And if you do this right, you should really have very little, if any, mortality at all. Although 10% is considered tolerable, we don't want any of our fish to die because we love them and we want them happy in our aquaponics system. So pH, temperature, be very gentle when you net them, and you're going to have